I'm here up high light. I'm underneath the climb called the Dribbles. And yesterday, some climbers came by, and as they were walking to the base of the route, they triggered this little pocket right here at the start of the climb. We came up here today to check it out, and there's a sizable wind slab here. And while I was cutting away the wall to do an extended column test, the entire slope collapsed, it fractured, and just moved downhill a little. This is a huge red flag that slopes are unstable. Whenever we have smaller slopes, especially at lower elevation, lower angle slopes, just triggering like this, um, it's a real indication that there's uh, problems up high. I have never seen this, um, this slope slide as big as it has today. So this is most certainly a red flag. I'm actually quite worried about what's happening above me in all these gullies. Um, and what we have happening here is we have a really hard wind slab. This uh, happened over well, the last week. We had some, especially the last 36 hours, we had some strong winds. And that wind slab is sitting on top of lots of faceted snow. Um, there were facets here earlier, but certainly the week of really cold temperatures made the facets bigger, the snowpack weaker, and so we're going to see instabilities like this with wind slabs over these facets all around these mountains. And once again, I'm really concerned about the gullies um, that are uh, above and leading to some of these climbs up here in highlight for the simple reason um, that they're wind loaded, and I expect this to be happening up higher. And this is a situation similar to what killed Guy Lasalle a few years ago underneath Silken Slot. So we just want to be really heads up while we're out here.